Array co-workers here tell me it was an absolute relief to learn of that arrest just one day after attending their friend's funeral. Now, meanwhile, the family of Nick Morris tells me they are so grateful for the support of Nick's friends here and also the hard work of police. My appreciation goes out to the detectives that work endlessly to get this guy. Less than a week after his son's murder and on the day of his funeral, it was those detectives that called Scott, Texas, letting him know they had a suspect in custody. One day later, on Thursday, police announced 22-year-old Tim Singer had been charged with the murder of 33-year-old Nick Morris. It was like uh, the best news I had ever heard, knowing that somebody's taken off the street, you know, that I know that hurt my son and won't be able to hurt anybody else. And while Texas doesn't know Singer, police say the murder does not appear to be random. Morris, a cook at Chow on Payne Street, had stepped outside for a cigarette last Friday afternoon when he was attacked, stabbed multiple times in the stomach. Co-workers who received a group text message from the restaurant's owner Thursday sharing news of the arrest are still unsure why Morris would have been targeted. So I pulled up my car and he was being loaded into the ambulance. I was in shock, really. I could not kind of think about anybody here being, you know, attacked like that, let alone Nick. Nick Morris, a father of three who even had his girls get off the school bus near the restaurant so they could spend more time together, died in surgery two hours later. And according to police, it was surveillance footage and tips from the public that led them to his killer. You know, I just can't say enough about how, how happy I am and, and, and so appreciative of all the people and again, the police effort that they took in part in uh, getting this man apprehended. And Rick, Vicki, I want to let you know, Chow Restaurant has really been incredible through all of this. They've set up a GoFundMe page with all the proceeds benefiting the victim's young daughter. So far, they have raised over $5,000. They're also planning another benefit from 4 to 9 on Sunday with a buffet, a silent auction. Again, all, all proceeds going to Morris's three young daughters. And something else I've got to tell you about, Morris's father told me just tonight he is planning a memorial garden right outside this restaurant in the weeks ahead. Reporting live for you tonight, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. All right, thank you, Lauren. Now, police are continuing to investigate and tell WLKY why more arrests are possible. Singer remains in Metro Corrections tonight without bond. He's expected to face a judge in the morning.